Okay, guys, I always wanted to know. I just brought this little $34 Aldi air fryer. Not that big, but definitely big enough for, you know, one person, single quick foods. And you probably can pile it a little bit. I did some shrimp yesterday. I'll show you those pictures also. So let's see if we can do biscuits. So I cut my biscuit recipe in half. Hey, by the way, I know Martha White, or whatever that other flower is, but trust me. This one, like lily flower, this has been my biscuit. So I already got my one cup. I cut it in half because I only need about four biscuits with my little biscuit cutter. Hey, one important thing is remember, cube your, your butter real good like that. So let's go ahead and dump it in there. I've already mixed my I already mixed my flour, kind of sifted it with a this whisk. Now we're gonna cut it in. Hey, I wish I was like my grandmother and mom and could cut it with a fork. I can't do it. <laughs> so I brought this little thing. It helped. It improved my my uh, pastry skills. So we just cut it in here. And remember, have that butter cold. You don't have to, but you, you get better results if it's cold. Like everybody tells you, you'll get some kind of little crumbly looking mix. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying some new crazy little grass-fed butter. Huh? You know, who knows? Probably no different than regular butter. Now, the old famous, just make you a little spot for your buttermilk. Remember, I cut this recipe in half, so. Shake it up. And it does not take long. Quarter cup and two tablespoons was my half of my three quarter. All right. It doesn't take much at all. You make sure all the little flowers come together. You just dump it out. I'll get you a little extra flour just in case when you mix them. You have to keep it. Add a little flour, extra flour. And notice it'll start picking up all the pieces and coming into a ball. Don't panic. This is very forgiving, trust me. If I can do it, anybody can. All those years of watching my mom, man, she she definitely, you know, she probably had less, <laughs> less uh, pieces like this, but trust me. You keep rolling it. And this is also part of the kneading process anyway, but you don't want to overwork it. So trust me, you don't want to do too much overwork. You just want all that stuff to get picked up. Got my biscuit cutter getting ready. Because trust me, like I said, you don't want to overwork it. I do love my little bench scraper. And now you can really make sure you get all the pieces together. Now this works. I might take the little air fryer to the uh, tailgate and we'll see. So now you got it. Just fold it over a few times. You don't want to overwork it. Trust me, this dough is very forgiving. 
Oh, and by the way, I love this little mat because it helps you kind of start learning. You know, it's hard to measure to it. They say you can keep this about a half inch thick. I never keep up with the half inch thickness of it. But what I do is I kind of remember what diameter I make when I get the diameter right, then I know, you know, kind of how much. So I kind of, like in this one, I want about four biscuits, so. So see, I'll remember this little half recipe size. Look at that, one, two, three, four. Might even can make it a little smaller. I remember that six, see that? Now let's cut them out. One, two, then you have to take them. Then you have to make this a little again. I just won't go with the six, you know, they'll come down a little bit. You know, the, the more dough you have, you don't have, you wouldn't have to, you get a good many out of one. So, so what I like to do is right here, you know, you want that same height. See? Then you just cut that next one out. That one might, might even be a little taller, but that's fine. That's what makes homemade biscuits so fun. They're, they're all imperfect and different. And then you'll watch, my little brother used to always go, he always wanted the special one. This last one I may not even have to roll out, let's see. But I do like, I do like making it have that same little shape. All right, there we go, guys. We wash my hands. Technically, I don't believe you need to spray it, but just for sake of argument, we'll spray the bottom of it. These four, I think I already measured my little thing, so it fit. One, two, three, four, let's see. Look at that guys, four, plug it in. I'm gonna try nine to 12 minutes at 400. So you see it, got the temp, 400. I'm gonna turn it all the way to 400. I got a little timer, old school timer. I'm gonna stick it in. And you just gonna go 10 minutes. All right, we'll come back and check. Okay, guys, it's been about five minutes. Let's take a quick peek. One thing I like about this, at first I'm like, hey man, I don't want to just open in it without making sure it doesn't turn off. So what I found out is you just, when you take it out, it cuts off. Look at it, guys. They freaking rose. That's freaking incredible. So you still want to butter them up right quick. There's a little of this restaurant quality butter that I buy. And so, so note to self, I don't think it'll take 10 minutes. We're gonna put these back in here just for a few more minutes. And that's it, guys. Now, you tell me you can't have biscuits like that, just those few ingredients. Let's put it back in there. All right, guys, big reveal. They were already done. I just put that butter on there just to simply let them, look at that. Let's plate them up. They look like biscuits to me. Note to self. I can already tell. <laughs> they know it's good if I'm eating the crumbs already. All right. Quite, I don't know if I'm going to turn that. That's the thing about the Aldi 34 off. I don't know if I'm supposed to force it to off. I feel like I'll mess up my timer. So I'll just keep going. Let's cut one of these biscuits in half. You see? Yeah, he had to go over most of them need to pour. Guys, tell me, that ain't a normal biscuit. Add a little bit more butter. Load it up like that. If you got some meat or anything, now you tell me that ain't ready for, you can have biscuits in under 10 minutes. Now, once again, 
for thirty four dollars. That's what I like about it. Something that 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 I might not would buy. And I actually bought the bigger one, but I do believe it is something different about these little air basket ones, the way they cook versus the big one. Because uh, I got the big one and it does not do the same. So I like I like this. So if you're in Aldi, $34, little small um, air fryer, it might even tear up in a year or two, like they say. And and the, the person that got into it say, oh, the ads to the junk in the in the uh, landfills, probably true. Too bad they don't have a way to recycle and reuse the, the the metal and plastic, but I won't get into that. That's what, it, that's what the uh, energy people to do. But I can tell you this, this will be convenient for me at the tailgate. If I want to do biscuits, I can do biscuits like that. Boom, 10 minutes and we'll have biscuits at the tailgate. Or how about college dorm room kids? How about uh, teenagers who want biscuits in the morning Boom, uh, base and still you still didn't have to crank up your oven, so I like it. So for me, it works. I think that looks good. Let's taste it. Tastes like a biscuit to me. Tastes like a biscuit to me. All right, guys, appreciate it.